Idios, is th- these are the people who do um, the original Gex games and I want to say <sighs> Tomb Raider? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Until Tomb Raider was taken by another company after they dissolved. Hmm. I remember Gex. I had fun with Gex. That, <laughs> that was another game that was better than... I played Chicken this on Little. the PS2. Oh, God. The upscaling for the videos. The artifacting. The not widescreen. It's glorious. So, uh, welcome to Bionicle Heroes. I'm your yeah. host, West Ninja. Today I'm joined by... Ewan. Hi, Ewan. The co-host with the least of the most. Yeah. da 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 all right, so we're playing some Bionicles. Or... This, this video is not sponsored by Lego, but however, if Lego would like to sponsor us, send us bricks. Just bricks. <gasps> just a case of spare bricks. Yep, just three and a half pounds of bricks per box. Mm. And 50 boxes of loose bricks. That's a lot of boxes. Mm -hmm. I have plans for these bricks. <laughs> just Lego's so expensive. I can't do any of the things I want to. Remember that... Um, the White Stripes video where they're like doing a music video and it's all animated with Lego bricks. Yes. I want our intro to do that. That would be pretty neat. Ugh. I've got about 40 pounds of bricks right now, but it's not enough pixel density to oh do like God. an entire wall like this. Yeah. That is crazy. I'm working on it. I should show you my collection one day. Yes. <laughs> so we're. Oh shit. Ah! ah. It's I dropped the case. It's fine. We're still recording. It's good. We're, we're fine. Yep. P please don't yell at us in the comments. No. Yell at us in the comments. We need more comments. <gasps> please yell at us. I like it. So what's going on in this? Who are we? Uh, we're nobody yet. They're just talking about how the Karaka are destroying the island of Matanui? I think? Isn't that the one from uh, Leave the One Stitch? No. Oh. Oh, Boilnui? Isn't that the one from, um... Moana? <laughs> yeah, Moana. <laughs> eh, it's supposed to be like a Hawaiian-type island thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. 2006. Yes. I bet you that says not loading. Or something similar. I bet you it's all nonsense. I would assume it says something like loading. New game. This is just... Sure. This is the menu stuff from Lego games. Yeah. Loverly. Okay. I, I used to collect Bionicles. They're pretty cool. I have one. Exactly one. <laughs> exactly one? Yep. Really? And it was a yellow one, and it threw little yellow discs. But it only had one yellow disc. It also came with a red or a black one, I think. Supposedly I... they were collectible. Uh... I had the ones like those... Several of them. Yeah, I had, had one like that, but it was yellow. I had the brown one and a couple other ones. I had a few of the Karakas. They're pretty cool. Believe it or not, my sister actually had one too. And she had a red one that she left with me. So I have. Technically, I have two. Technically. But Until she comes back one day and is like, where's my Bionicles? Yeah, my one Bionicle. She probably doesn't remember. That was what years you? ago. That guy. I had that guy. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is basically what we were playing last time, except they have health bars. Yeah, this is Chicken Little. All right. Kind of. You, you swatched one uh, action shooter for another action shooter. Yes. Good job. Ah, what a good game. 10 out of 10 IGN. I wonder what it actually got. Um, I would assume it didn't get that bad of a review, because most LEGO games were pretty... Well reviewed. I'm gonna guess a Metacritic score of 70. Ooh. Plus or minus 5. Margin of error of yeah. 5? Not bad. You need your green to Kunga's cost ability. This was also uh, a PC release, too. Mm hmm. So, what's your guess for a Metacritic score? Uh, I said 70 plus or minus 5. I'm gonna say it's probably around 60. Ooh, you're within the error bars. Really? It is 59. Oh my goodness. Eh. 
Bionicle Heroes is a third-person shooter game released November 2006 on the PS2, Xbox 360, GameCube, and then it was later ported to the the Wii U and PC. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. I enjoyed it on the PS2. I don't know how it's going to be on this. The BC version ran in Java. Java? Apparently. Ooh, I don't like that effect. No? On the screen, the glowing thing? Flowers. Do you know how they do reflections in some of these old video games? Uh, no. They take all the geometry in the current level, they copy paste it, and literally flip it upside down in the world and stick it to itself. So you're actually <laughs> seeing through something transparent to oh uh, yeah that's kind of at the bottom they still do that in video games because reflections are too hard reflections are hard like usually you just copy paste whatever it is yeah. in a different layer so uh the technology that they used in portal isn't like that they actually had cameras which is why there was a lot of slowdown because you shoot a portal, it creates a camera there. You shoot the other portal, and then you can see through the two cameras at once. That's why there's a slowdown. Okay. Portal's such a good game. It's one of those few games that people don't dislike for no reason at all. It's a straight-up puzzle game. Yeah. Puzzle games are hard to hate on. Except when they get frustrating. But then you just do something else for a bit, you know? And then go back to the puzzle. Yeah. I think it's because Portal is a game with a story, but your protagonist is silent, so you can fit yourself into the story. More projection yeah. from the player's side. Because I've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3, and I've noticed that I hate the characters you're playing as because they don't Shut up. Yeah, and they have different opinions than I do. Especially because I'm playing as Zane and he's like... Oh, I'm playing as guy. him as well. Yeah. He's always got something to say. Yeah. But he's like referencing things that have never experienced in the game of Borderlands. That have happened apparently in his life. Maybe you'll see more and stuff like that in DLC, but... No context for it. So I don't know if he's to like hamming it up or... BSing or, you know, straight up lying about anything. Yeah, because kind of you can't trust the protagonists no. ever. Because they're... Untrustworthy. <laughs> no, there's a word for it. It's called unreliable narrator. Yeah. The podcast Welcome to Night Vale does that a lot. Where the radio host Cecil is like, has his own opinions about everything and may not tell you the whole story. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of hidden backstory and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Where'd that come from? He dug it out of the water. <laughs> and away we go. Yeah, just zooming along. Oh, I don't like the water effect. It's a single static texture over another water plane. Mm -hmm. See, there's two water planes in that corner there? Yep, I see it. How come this texture doesn't move? Why is it stationary? Eh, just because. If it just like like moved in a like a rotated pattern or maybe like a like an orbital sander kind of like rotates. Yeah, if you just have like if it moved at all on the flat plane, it would be better looking. Whatever. <laughs> You're judging something from this. Just based on the water, yeah. Time gone. Someone has. I love this weapon. A museum they built in a virtual space. Like, it's a video game, but it's just water textures. Really? And different ways to render water and fluids. There are some water textures you'll see in games that are just great, and others make you just want to throw up. Um, the best example I can think of right now is the, the World of Warcraft original, the classic version of water, and then which had, like, moving textures and motion and stuff. And then they patched in, I think it was before Cataclysm, 
they had a new water system and it didn't move at all, but you could do like ripple effects and stuff. Hmm. Yeah. And like the volumetric effects kind of were janky and. But it was like two different technologies. Yeah, the one downside of getting hero mode in this is it plays the same song on loop forever. Oh, fun. Yeah. It just means you're doing well. It's fine. I, I haven't been listening to the music at all. I barely have my headphones on right now. <laughs> it's okay. You're not missing out on much. Every once in a while, it seems like I hear the uh, the Back to the Future riff. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 na, na. Um, the actual crap was that. It was a crab. Sort of. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -ba. Just spraying stuff. Take this, and then he goes kablooey. Kablooey. He opens his little yipper. Stick an explosive in there. It's all good. I think you need... Yeah, you need to have the, uh... The specific mask? Yeah. Because so you unlock the bad guys after you beat them. Weird. Yeah. Uh, this is bringing me back. It's not exactly the same, but it's fun. I like it. Blah, blah, blah. I think it's more intuitive than having a regular controller but at the same time not really well we just played chicken little action heroes or whatever yeah <laughs> that stupid game it's almost the same did you just grow a flower yes I hate it I just killed a bird I don't know why you're mean <laughs> I am NOT a merciful god <sighs> you got a face Yep. They count as an extra health bar, oh. I believe, or it just refills your hearts. And it also gives you the abilities of that one when you pick it up. Weird. You dirty little one. This is actually my first uh, LEGO game. Really? Yeah. LEGO games are exceedingly good, more often than not. <laughs> like, the early ones were a little bit rough. I remember playing through... A Star Wars one, the Star Wars original trilogy or prequel tr trilogy Lego game, and it was great. I played through it with uh, my buddy Matthias. Hey, shout out to a guy who I haven't seen in also about 15 years. <laughs> Since the game came out? Yeah. Like a high school thing, or did they move away? Or I moved away when I was maybe... Oh, maybe six at most. Ooh. Yeah. You should look him up on Facebook. Stalker. Yeah. He introduced me to Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. Yeah. What Ooh. the heck? Climbing up the wall. Ugh. Yeah, you scramble up like a disgusting little vermin. It's basically a sniper spot. Because it gives you the sniper guy. Oh. Yeah. I don't need that because I ain't no fool. Um, shotgun is best. Have we beat a level yet? Nope. The levels are long. Oh boy. Blah, 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 blah. Gross. Gremlin walk. It's good to need a robot. Yes. Sort of. They're sort of alive, sort of not. It's weird. What is that thing in the lava? That yellow thing. Uh, that's a gold canister. Yeah. Can't get to it. Oh. Why not? Because Let's I have to it. purchase abilities. Oh. Gameplay. That's why you're supposed to collect stuff. This is hard. Um. Go away, you stupid little thingy. Um. Yes. What am I to do? Do I explode you? Um. Do you turning? do something? You can build a thing? Oh, I was dealing with flowers. <laughs> you. Break. Rip. Oh, I just have to be water to walk through water. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Ah, water. Ah. 
shoot a throw sounding water gun at ya. Do you remember a conversation a couple videos ago where I, uh, oh no, you weren't here. Um, it was Misty. We were talking about cheese for some reason. Whether it floats or not, yeah. Well, and then, yeah, we got into talking about Cheese Whiz, and then, yeah, does Cheese Whiz float? Cheese Whiz does not float. Really? Yeah. I it's did more not dense than that. water. I didn't expect that. Yeah. Go figure, huh? I expect, you know, because it was made of mostly oil and fat, that it would float. Yeah. No, no it sinks. Boring, boring. It also doesn't mix very well with water. And it's very hard to clean because it's greasy. <laughs> Couldn't flush it down the toilet? No. I, I tried to, like, pour it down the sink, and then it just got stuck in the drain, so I'm like, nope, I'll scoop it out. <laughs> I'll scoop it out. I'm not dealing with this tomorrow. <laughs> Ten minutes from now. <laughs> this is a problem for me in the future. Yeah. Yeah, cheese really doesn't float. <laughs> But as soon as we had that conversation, I had to look it up, and no one has done a video on it. Really? Yeah. It's just one of those things that you'd think people have tested, but they haven't. Nope. No one else has thought of it. <laughs> no one else has asked these hard-hitting questions. So then I thought, well, what if you, like, heat the cheese up? Will it expand? Will it just mix with water? Will it ignite? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, could it be a good fire starter? If you dry it, will it burn? Yes. I hope so. Because I know you can use a uh, Crayola crayons as like emergency candles if you need to. Yeah, they burn for like, what, a half hour? Yeah, because the paper acts as a wick. Yeah, fun and dangerous. Yeah, and also helpful. And they kind of smell good, and they're almost edible. See, they're shooting out the little things that they shoot out uh, in real life. Barbs. Ooh. Oh, the discs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell Steve Irwin. <gasps> I get it. Dead. <laughs> Timely comedy. Oh, Steve Irwin. I miss him. Every day, I look in my bed and he's still not home. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need some stuff. Why does that keep going? Because I'm supposed to make flowers. Oh. Hours in the middle of combat. You know, like you do. Well, the reason for that is uh, I need to get hero mode in order to that thing. Yeah. do that. Yeah. And what is that? He enables it so he can be damaged. Um, okay. Yeah. And then I have to do stuff over here now, I think. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This game is garbage and I hate it. Yeah, it's garbage, the, the but that's okay. The Chicken Little game was better. You, you think Chicken Little's better? Yeah, because you didn't have to flip and build. Build? It was just, just a speed a run. Or unlock a, you know, unlock a door with the uh, lockpicking game. The trash lockpicking game. This sticks you in an arena. Until yes. You finish your arena. Yes. Hate exactly. It. Hate is a strong word, and that is the word I would kind of I, use too if I, would, I had no connection to this game. I would not choose to play this game again. <laughs> no? No. Oh my god. Yeah, all levels are kind of like this. The studio who made this, have you, they been around that long? Since the start of the PS1. That's true. Studios. But when did they go away? Too soon. <laughs> Not soon enough, possibly? I don't know. Let's do a little research. Let's uh, look it up on my handy dandy notebook. Which is not a notebook, it's an iPad. Look, you. Shush. He's lying to you, people. Wake up, sheeple. Wake up. Brush your teeth and put a little makeup. Huh? Uh, 2009. Ooh. Yep. Can't believe 2009 was 10 years ago. It is currently owned by Square. Uh, Square Enix. Oh. Squ Squeenix. Squeenix. Level complete. Well, they did like, yeah. Yeah, Tomb Raider and Deus Ex and uh, 
Legacy oh, of Kane and Hitman 2. Deus Ex was good. And they made it for just about every platform. Haha, mm. <laughs> <They laughs> what a like, dumb dumb. He broke his arm. They have Montreal Studios. It's mostly a Canadian company. Boo. Ba, boo no. Facebook da, boo. has... Two hundred and twenty-five likes. Oh, it's not EDOS. Different EDOS. Well, we just completed a level. Yay! That means we never have to play this ever again. Oh. Unless someone requests it. I guess. All right. So, um, Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye bye.